Hi friends! Welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Caitlin and I like to film eyeshadow palette ranking and review videos mainly on indie makeup, but occasionally I sprinkle some other stuff in there as well. So if you like indie makeup, or eyeshadow palettes, I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button because I post two videos every single week. And for those of you that are not new here, my face is happy that you are seeing it again. And I am flipping excited for today's video. So, um, one, my hair, I finally put it up to get it out of the way so that you can just see me do the makeup look and I'll come back with like hair, outfit, everything done. So don't worry about that. Um, but I'm, that's not why I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm finally getting to try out, um, I think it's Micah, Micah Beauty Shop and Marta's Makeup, the collab palette that they did, which is the Serpent palette. And let me show you the inside in case you haven't seen it. That is the inside. Is it not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in the entire world? I mean, the packaging alone, this is what sold me. I saw this packaging and I was like, I don't even care what the inside looks like, I'm getting it. And then I saw the inside and I thought, cool, I, that works because I like it. Um, so yeah, we are going to be doing a first impressions with this palette today. So if you want to see a look idea for this or just get inspiration on a look you can do with palettes in your own collection, then you should go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, since this is my first time reviewing anything from Mika or Mika <laughs> Beauty Shop on my channel, I want to give you some information on the brand. So this is an indie makeup brand in France, and the it is female owned, and um, they do indicate that their products are cruelty free and vegan. Now the palette itself does say cruelty free. I don't see anything about it being vegan, but on their website they say their products are cruelty free and vegan. Um, the what else was I going to say? Oh, the ingredients in the palette is that it does include talc and uh, mica. There's a 12 month open container and I got rid of the like carton sleeve that it came in. So I'm not sure where this was produced. Let me see if it's on their site. At the time that I'm filming this, this palette is available for pre-order on their site. So it says that this palette has two multi-chromes, four duochromes, one sparkly metallic and eight mattes. Okay, so let's see if we can find the special shades in here. So we have one sparkly metallic. I feel like that's this one, Antidote. And four duochromes, two multichromes. Transformation is for sure a multichrome. Let me see. I feel like these two are duochromes. Venom's probably a duochrome. And then Duality and Jormungandar. I think one of those is gonna be a multichrome and the other's gonna be the duochrome. Um, it doesn't say anything about where this palette is produced, so I'm not sure about that, uh, but it is available for 65 euros on their site. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do an eye look. I'm actually going to dinner tonight for my sister's birthday, but I just, I, I came back from vacation recently and I only brought a few palettes uh, with me on vacation. There are palettes that are in my second set of palette Palooza palettes, so I'm not going to give this away because when you see that video, you'll know which ones I brought. But anyways, I just felt like the inspiration was lacking using those palettes. So now that I'm back and have access to all of my makeup, I really want to do something a little bit more creative. At least I think. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get started. So I think what I want to do is start with the shade, oof, what's, I don't know how to say that. It's this dark green down here. I know a lot of you like really want me to get closer for these tutorial type videos. So hopefully this is close enough. I feel like any closer and you'll be able to see all of my pores. So I'm taking this dark green shade on a Made by Mitchell ME6 brush and just creating kind of like a wing with this shade. I'm taking it out to about where my eyebrow ends. And we're gonna do more of a graphic eye look today. And Marta's makeup is a, is she Swedish? Hold on, she is Norwegian. Um, so she is a Norwegian like makeup influencer and I hadn't heard of her prior to this palette launching, but I subscribed to her channel um, once I watched her you know, launch video where she kind of went over the details of the product and everything. And um, she is very low key, very calming, very peaceful. So if that's content 
that you're kind of looking for. I think she has a great channel. I will make sure to link it in my description box down below. I don't know if this is like the best graphic liner shape that I've ever done in my life, but it's all right. Now here's the fun part is trying to get it to match your other eye. Okay, I mean, are they perfect? No, but they're kind of close. So am I mad about it? No, it is good enough for me. So now I want to take a brush that's kind of like a dense sort of flat brush and I'm going to go into the shade Regeneration. I don't know if I pointed, there you go. It's that olivey green shade. And I just want to tap over the edges of what we just did just to kind of create a little bit of a blend. And this is a graphic eye look, so it doesn't have to be like perfectly blended and I'm not looking to like totally blow this out, but I do want just a slight blend to it. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but. Okay, so here I'm gonna come up close so you can kind of see the difference between the two. It's just adding like shape to it without, it. like it's not like a normal look where you're trying to, I'm sorry if I'm blocking my eye. It's not like a normal look where you're trying to like blend it out and make like really diffused edges. That's not necessarily the goal. The goal is more to add this color, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I was debating adding this like lime green for warning, but I feel like that might be too much, so I'm not going to. Um, now I'm gonna pack a matte shade actually all over my lid and up against where that other matte, that first one, which is the dark green, the word I can't say. Um, I'm gonna pack that up against it. So I'm gonna use this ME4 brush that's a made by Mitchell brush. And we're gonna go into the shade Temptation, which is this mauve -y, pinky shade down here. Now I'm noticing in the pan, it's not a ton of kick up or um, really any fallout. Uh, and the shades aren't like bam, super pigmented right off the bat. You do have to kind of build them up a little bit, but not a lot. Like I think you saw when I was doing the liner portion of this, um, I really only went in twice with that dark green and I feel like I got it to where I needed it to go. Now you could, okay, so let me backtrack for a second. You could stop right here, leave the look here. You could throw in some of this transformation shade or any of the shimmers and like even the shade Venom, keep it like monochromatic and go with the greens and just have like a more editorial look. You could leave it open and have more of like an editorial negative space look like this. That would be cool. You could also leave it here with just this pink matte. I'm gonna add a shimmer over the top of it, but I just wanna show like as I go along that you could stop at any stage of this look and have it be a really fun eye look. For me personally, pink and green is one of my favorite color combos, green and purple being another favorite combo. So this purplish pinky mauve and these greens is really giving right now okay so like i said you could also leave it right here and just be done and yeah that would be pretty i think i'm gonna take immortality and duality and i'm gonna put both of those on my lid i'm going to start with the shade immortality which is this one down here it's like a pink blue or purple blue duochrome Ooh, it's that really putty like texture where it's almost difficult to pick it up on your brush. I did spray my brush with Mac Fix Plus and the brush I am using is a Real Techniques uh, 055 shader brush. And I'm trying to be intentional about running this like along the top, but leaving this open space because that's where I plan to put that duality shade. I think this one's a multi-chrome because you can kind of see that there's like a dark bluish purple, a light blue, and then also the pink reflect. So I think that one is going to be a multi-chrome, but I could be wrong. Could just be a duochrome and I'm just making stuff up. I have such a love-hate relationship with these putty-like textured shimmers because I really like the texture and the effect they give on the lid because they're just bigger pieces of pigment that just sort of, you know, give a texture to the lid. I just think that's really cool. I really like how that looks. But picking them up on a brush is kind of a nightmare. 
and I feel like they tend to have a little bit more fallout. So I just feel like I struggle with them just a tiny bit. Okay, so now we're gonna take the shade Duality, which is this one right here. And this one is for sure multi-chrome. I see like green, I see like burgundy, and I feel like it's, I don't know, I think it'll look cool with this look. So I'm gonna take a Morphe M124 brush. And this is not that putty-like texture. It has quite a bit of kick up in the pan, but it's not, it's not like moving in the pan, if you know what I mean. So I did spray this with Fix Plus. Oh, that shade is, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I can like actually see the shift on my lid. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. I like that a lot. I almost kind of like this look better with the mattes, but the shade Duality is stunning. Oh my gosh, that is a very pretty shimmer shade. And I don't know if I have anything like it in my collection. That's really, really pretty. At least nothing's coming to mind, like with this exact shade of green and then this sort of brown burgundy undertone to it oh gosh that's stunning yeah i mean that's pretty much the look i might decide to take the dark green shade and do like a full wing with it i haven't quite decided yet that'll i'll decide that later you'll see it when i come back but i will come back to do the lower lash line and inner corner so now we're gonna do the lower lash line and I'm going to try and actually grab the palette and not the blush palette I used. Um, okay, so we're gonna take that same Made by Mitchell ME6 brush and the, sh the dark green shade that I can't pr pronounce. Um, and I'm going to kind of connect that. I'm trying to angle this so you can actually see it. I'm just trying to create like a straight line to the lower lash line which is i know making this a bit thicker but that's all right i don't mind if the outside edge is a little bit more defined all right now i'm running that along the lower lash line and i know this green shade looks like it faded i don't think it faded so much as i got concealer on it <laughs> so just wanted to clarify that. There we are. And now we're gonna take that same Real Techniques brush we used earlier with the shade Regeneration, which is the slightly more olive green, like that. That's basically it. And now I have to try and think about what I wanna do on my inner corner. For the heck of it, I'm gonna put the lime green forewarning mat in the inner corner. I just wanna see what it looks like. And then I can tap over it with a shimmer if I don't like it. So taking a Sigma E46, it's an inner corner brush. There was quite a bit of uh, like excess when I just tapped that shade off. This is such a nice bright yellow. It's a little bit translucent on initial application, but I feel like after two layers, it's... Uh, nice and pigmented. I'm going to take the other side of that brush and I'm just going to go into the shade Transformation. This is also a kind of flaky shade. It's this one up here. And I'm just going to tap over where we put that. I do think I like it better with the shimmer over it for this look, but you could just leave the matte inner corner if you wanted to. I like that uh, Transformation shade over that lime green. It almost looks like very fiery. Um, which I think is really fun. Okay, this is basically the look. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup, hair, get dressed, etc., and show you the finished look and give you my first impressions, thoughts on this palette. Back with the finished look, here it is. Is this my most favorite eye look I've ever done? No. Is it different? Did I feel like I got to flex some creative muscles, do something a little different? Yes. Um, also don't love how my wig looks. This is the Margot wig from insert name here. And I don't know what happened, but the way I glued it down is just kind of funky. Anyways, um, let's talk about the Serpent palette. So I have used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the 15 shades. Um, obviously just did the look. So I've never tried this brand before. So I have no idea on longevity. Um, I've had this on for maybe like an hour and the there is no creasing, but it's only been an hour. So that's the extent of the knowledge I can give on that. Um, 
yeah, no fading on the mats either yet, but like I said, TBD. Um, overall, I think if you don't like that putty texture where when you dig your brush in, the like shadow sort of moves around on the shimmers, this is not gonna be for you. At least two of those uh, shimmers have that. Um, this one, Immortality, Immortality, seems to be the one with that the most. Transformation's a close second. Um, Duality didn't really have that. I feel like Reincarnation might have that texture yet, but I haven't even swatched it yet, so not 100% sure. Um, overall, I think the color story on this palette is really inspiring. I have lots of ideas that of looks that I wanna do with this, so I think I'll enjoy continuing to use it. I think the packaging is gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I think the mattes uh, from what I used of them, obviously I did mostly a graphic liner and then just packed it on. So not a ton of blending, but they have a similar quality to the Bella Butte bar mattes, which personally, I, I think those mattes are fine. They're not my favorite, but I don't mind using them if I get like extra sparkly shimmers. But I know some of you have told me in the past that you don't like Bella Butte's matte formula. So I figured I would make that comparison for you. Um, but yeah, so far enjoying it, but we'll need to continue to use it. If you have never been on my channel before, I do rank palettes every month, um, every palette that I use. So both new and old. So um, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can kind of see where this one stacks up as I continue to use it and I can give more thoughts. I'm also starting a palette palooza. So each 10 palettes that I buy throughout the year, I use every single shade in them, use them at least three times, and then give my overall thoughts on the palette um, once I've had time to test it out. So I've done 10, the first 10, that video just went up. I do have another 10 that I'm in the process of reviewing. This will be in the third set, so it might, not, it might be a while before you get my full review, but that gives me enough time to try it out and really play with it. But anyways, let me know what you think of this look. If you grab this palette, if you're planning on grabbing this palette, I love talking makeup with all of you in the comments, and I will see you all next time. Bye!